Hey everyone, this is Mark with Apple Tech Win Tweet. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Logitech MX Master 2S. This has come out um, a while ago. It's nothing new, but I haven't had a chance to get one. When the original MX Master came out, I got it right away, and I've had that ever since. So, well, like almost four years, three and a half. Um, I've had mine, I've been loving it, but I want a new mouse because I got more computers here than I do mice. So I want another good one. So that is why I picked this one up. This is gonna become my main mouse. Um, and then my other one's gonna go to a different computer. I did pick up, as you'll see right here, I did get white. It's actually called gray, but I got the white right here just because it's gonna go a lot better with all my Mac accessories. Um, I got the white trackpad, white keyboard, now a white mouse, how about that? That's pretty cool. So this is the box. We have a picture of the mouse right here and a list of some of the features. And then you can see right there, the mouse like there. That's pretty cool, that looks nice. Okay, um, we got some more features that you can switch between. I really don't know what's new specifically with this mouse. I think it's just some of the tracking features, um, but I always get the new stuff, so I guess I don't really care that much. I just buy it. Um, I do like the fact that you can switch between multiple devices at once with this. I have used it before and it's very cool. Okay, there we go. We got the mouse right there. Right now, I do connect mine using the unifying receiver, not Bluetooth, because back when I got it, there was an incredibly large amount of issues with Bluetooth, but I'm going to try going Bluetooth this time. But either way, however you want to connect it, we've got our unifying receiver right here. So that's kind of cool. And then we do got our charging cable. This is micro USB. I really wish it was USB Type-C, especially considering how new this is. So... You know, um, got documentation and information on how to change the battery. I can seriously take this mouse apart. Look at that. I can change the battery on here. You can take it apart. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's take a quick tour of the mouse. Uh, we made a video on this before, but um, we will go into detail a little bit again. I also want to show you my setup. Um, what I use each of these buttons for. So we got our clicking, the um, logo's changed. This is gonna switch in between modes, so the ratchet mode and then the, the free mode, but I actually have this program something different. This does have a click right here. Much easier to click, kinda. Uh, we got our side scrolling wheel, which is perfect for timelines and video editing. We got these two buttons to switch between pages, and there's another one right here, hidden in there. So let's see on the bottom, it says peel this off. Well, where do we peel it off? Right there, okay. We've got our on off button sensor and button to switch between devices. There's no more connect button on the other one. Um, we did have a button to connect, but not now. And then we got our charging port right here. So let me go ahead, get this mouse set up right here and we will um, show you my setup for what I use um, on all these buttons. Welcome back to my computer. So this right here is Logitech Options. This is what you use to customize your mouse. And I've got everything already set up. So let's take a look at um, what I have each of these buttons for and my setup. Um, so right here, this is a modifier and I have it set up for command. Now, inside of System Preferences, if you go to Accessibility, if I can find this anywhere, I have Zoom enabled for using the Command button. So if I hold Command on my keyboard, I can then zoom in on my mouse. Now, this is also a modifier for Command. So if I just hold down this button right here, the Modifier Command, I can then scroll to zoom in, and I don't have to hold my keyboard button down. I just do it right there. So I like that. Um, middle button, just the middle button. I use this a lot for opening things in new tabs. If I could press the middle button, it'll open this in a new tab. I use that all the time, which is pretty cool. 
Um, what I did just there was I pressed this button. This is mission control. So if I press this button right here, it'll then show me all my open windows. This is defaulted for um, the ratchet mode between the ratchet and free flow mode, but it does have an automatic switching. If we go here, um, smart shift is enabled. This is gonna switch between the ratchet and the free flow if you scroll fast enough. So let's see if you can hear it right here. This is ratchet mode. And then if I scroll fast enough, it'll go into free flow mode. And so you didn't really hear that early in there until it ratcheted and back in place. So that's what that does. And I use it a lot, it works pretty cool. So I don't need the button to switch. Um, this is switch between pages. I don't know why it's called that. It's basically just sideways scrolling. Let's see if I pull up a project here, I can just use this button and I can scroll sideways. So. Um, but it does work in Chrome to go back and forth between pages. Like I, I can go back and forth. So I guess that's why it's called that. Um, these two buttons right here do the same thing, desktop left and right. So if I press this button, it'll take me to the desktop on the right. And then I press the top one and that will then take me back. Um, I do use multiple desktops. So you can see right here, I have two desktops right there. Um, and that is going to just be because I do multiple things, I can just have editing on one window and something else on the other. So um, that's what I use that for. And I that's my setup. I use this button a lot in the middle to view mission control. And I always like to scroll and zoom in because I got a 4K monitor, sometimes text is a little small. Um, so that's my setup, that's what I got going. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to help you. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Iowa Tech One Type, and I'll see you in the next one.